After the release of Super Mario Kart in 1992, a new genre of video game was born, the go-kart racer. Putting a more light-hearted spin on typical arcade or simulation racers makes perfect sense, allowing for more creative flexibility with its characters and settings, and plenty of opportunity for new gameplay mechanics. And of course, with the resounding success of Mario Kart, plenty of clones would spawn in its wake, most of which would drift off into obscurity. And this game, published by Ubisoft and developed by Vivid Image, is a perfect example of that. This is Street Racer. Getting its start on the Super Nintendo in 1994, and later ported to several other consoles in the following years, Street Racer takes on the go-kart racing formula with a ragtag gang of characters. You've got an old hillbilly, a sumo wrestler, Frankenstein monster, or even a beach blonde surfer babe. And of course, each have their own attributes and special attacks. The racing gameplay is very, very similar to Mario Kart. Although most of your attacks are limited to close range punching and clubbing, so the turtle shell projectiles are sorely missed here. And the controls definitely aren't as refined, but you zip along pretty fast, and there's a good variety of courses that are still pretty fun to race through. And to set it apart from its competitors, Street Racer did attempt to make some improvements. The Mode 7 graphics and parallax scrolling actually look pretty good, and provide a more three-dimensional experience that was cutting edge for its time, and it resulted in what could be one of the better looking racing games on the Super Nintendo. I also really liked how this game actually fills the screen, unlike Mario Kart, which usually has the map or rear view taking up half of it. Although I did have a hard time discerning the items on the course, it's all pretty crunchy and pixely down there, so bombs and power-ups look way too similar. And aside from the main championship Grand Prix mode, there's also a rumble mode and a soccer mode, which actually can be a lot of fun, especially if you hook up a four-player adapter and get a few friends into the mix. It's basically like an epic bumper car battle, fighting over a ball and then firing it into a goal. And it's a nice surprise here to add something new to an otherwise unoriginal game. But unfortunately, the rumble mode suffers hard from the lack of projectiles I mentioned earlier as that's basically an epically boring bumper car battle. There's no health bars, and you just try to knock each other out of the course with your punches and special moves. After a minute or two of that, you'll probably be reaching for that purple reset button. Street Racer certainly suffers from unoriginality, and it has some major ups and downs. But overall, it's still a pretty fun and solid kart racer to divert you from Mario Kart for a minute. And while I can't speak for the other versions for Genesis, Game Boy, Sega Saturn, PC, or even on the PlayStation, the Super Nintendo version was a decent effort of putting a new spin on go-kart racing, even if it doesn't quite pull into first place. <laughs>